I'm just charging up this slab at you right here. Solar panels. Just a quick setup here. My main interest here is this solar charge this controller. PWM. Model. It's a 30 amp. Well, I'm currently charging up this phone right here. Uh, and I'm also charging the battery as well. The thing about these solar charge controller uh, this one is a 30A as you can see right there right the thing about this charge controller and the PWM system is that digital control is used to create a square wave so yeah guys I'm gonna hook up that television and an android box to this system right here i'm gonna be using this 500 watt inverter and this is what would convert the electricity from 12 volts dc power to ac yeah so i'm gonna be doing this right now guys yeah so yeah guys i'm gonna hook up that television and an android box to this system right here I'm gonna be using this 500 watt inverter and this is what would convert the electricity from 12 volts DC power to AC yeah so I'm gonna be doing this right now guys yeah so as you can hear I just turn on back the inverter so I'm gonna go and turn on the television now so the television is coming on and I'm gonna see how long I can do this for uh, this is a 500 watt so this is pulling 500 watts from the battery and we'll be monitoring the charge controller also so we're gonna sit back right here and we're gonna watch some television right here Anything you want to watch, guys. HD TV. We can watch some cartoon as well. So here we are. ABC channel. I'm gonna see how long I can do this for. This battery is a 35 AH battery. Uh, I do believe that uh, the higher the battery is, more better for you but as we are charging and we are using from the battery this will just keep us going and going and going yeah there's an update for map joe i'm gonna go ahead and do that right now so i just finished install map joe the new update for it 
so I'm gonna go ahead now and watch more television uh, looking for Look at right here. Okay. So what am I seeing is that right now as you can see here the volt is fluctuating uh, we are charging the battery while discharging and we are not getting power directly from the sun and that is because we hooked up the inverter directly to the battery and not the solar charge controller here so we are here and we will be watching television all day long. I'm also charging my phone here as you can see. And this phone already charged up fully so far. And I'm charging this one. And we are here watching television. Uh, for some reason it seems like the clouds are sort of black in the sun. In certain ways in between. Uh, but we are still generating electricity here from the panel If I have to check it using my meter I will see which I did before We are still generating electricity And we are here watching television So guys we will be just We will be watching television all along Are you guys gonna watch it with me? Time to change the channel. Time to change the channel. Well, the thing is, my router is a bit far. So, with any sticking when it comes to the Android, I do believe that it's because of that why it's taken a bit so we're gonna go and watch the food food channel network okay. I've got about four ounces of semi sweet chocolate and I can give them a rough job okay now I'll just add the chocolate chunks right into the ice cream the sun maker. is back out and I'm gonna let it do the work for the me the sun is back out guys and we'll just take a few rotations And if you look, you can see that the, the voltage coming from the panel is fluctuating a bit. 12.6, 5, 6, and eventually we'll go up to 7. So this is what the portable life feels like their own electricity in the mountain camping, hiking or for outdoor adventures outdoor programming you can do this sort of stuff right here which I'm doing in my porch so I'm powering this television and also this Android box right here inverter hook up to this battery right here and also while we are discharging from the battery we are charging from the solar panel yeah what 
what I'll be doing I'll be leaving this for like two hours or so and I will come back and let you know how it goes and uh, so on and then bring your own takeout container Okay, so I'm gonna go and mute the television. So I just mute the television. As you can see, the incoming power is 12.3V. And well, we move our panels slightly because of the sun. So we move it slightly. And I do believe that I need to adjust this a bit down more and a more better way to get a more voltage from the panel due to the fact that here so is being blocked from the shade so let's go back and take a look you can see that it is now 12.6 V so it's very good to ensure that your panel is not in a shaded area around trees or around around anything that will block the sun as you're seeing here we're still going guys we're still going we're still going so this is a perfect small solar panel system setup and again a lot of sunlight here in the caribbean you'll be seeing more from me because i'll be doing a lot of solar panel set up in different ways to power different sort of devices i'll be powering my computers are off of solar and some other things as well so guys this is a, an amazing thing right here and we can go all day and i do believe we can go till night when we are not getting any we will sun. get a couple hours more until our battery is completely drained so here is where we need some sun during the night time because we will not be getting any sun to recharge our batteries so we can think about getting a larger battery bank probably consists of 100 ah each battery so if we could get a couple 100 AH batteries or 200 AH batteries or possibly 400 AH batteries, we can build a battery bank powerful enough to power our system, uh, to power all of our electronic equipment in our house, your television, washing machine, and also fridge so you can do what you you want the choice is up to you so this is an amazing video from lens well today happens to be december the 25th and i just choose just to just do this with my extra time here and i just want to see that i'm enjoying the christmas and I know that after Christmas is passed, many of you are going to come across this video. And I would just like you guys to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And join the Lens Empire as we watch more television.